So you just broke a lens mount and you have no idea what to do. So what do you do? I don't care how it would happen if you are just unlucky or have clumsy hands. You want to repair it. You don't want to have broken lens. So what do you do? Well, you can either break down, which I don't recommend, but that's also an option. Or you can buy a new lens mount and just change it. And that's it. It's really that simple. All you need to do is just to order one of these new mounts for the lens. You can find those on eBay. Usually if you order from eBay, the mount comes from Hong Kong. So it's gonna take a while until you get it. Mine costs like 33 euros, which is not that expensive after all. And I also ordered these two little screwdrivers from Amazon. They are called PH00 and PH000. You need those two to repair your lens. They cost like five euros. I'm gonna link them down so you can order these for yourself. Okay, so now you have your lens mount and the screwdrivers at home. They're sitting on your table and what do you do next? Well, now you just have to open your lens cover and you can see four big screws or bigger screws and then a two super small screws on the side. Oh, and always have a place for the screw so you don't lose them. So first you wanna grab the bigger screwdriver and just unscrew the four screws. You need to push really hard if you wanna get them out, but don't worry, nothing is gonna break. Just push as hard as you can, or you can just freak up the screw, which you don't want because then you can't get it out and you want to get out them all. So push really hard, just don't care about it, it's gonna be okay. Then when you unscrew those four bigger screws, take the other screwdriver and do it just like with the bigger screws. Just push really hard, don't worry, nothing is gonna break. And when you get this done, your lens mount should just go off by itself. If it doesn't, you did something wrong. Then I can't help you, unfortunately. Okay, so this next step you gotta do really quick because you're gonna reveal the inside of the lens and you don't wanna freak up anything there. You don't want any dust particles. Remove the lens mount, get the new one, position it right and just put it back and hold it there. Even if you don't have screws inside yet. Grab the bigger screws, I screwed them in first. So then it's easier to get in the smaller ones. And to screw them back, you just do the same thing. You push really hard, screw the bigger screws like halfway down so you can tighten them after that. Then you can get all four like halfway there and then just tighten them all up. When you've done that, you grab the super small screws. Well, you're not probably gonna grab them because they are just too small. So that's why you have these magnetic screwdrivers. They are just going <laughs> Then you take the screwdriver, put it inside the hole. Even when these are really small screws, you still gotta push as hard as possible or else you're gonna freak up the screw, which you don't want again. Then try to tighten the screws again, all the four bigger ones and the two smaller ones, just to make sure nothing is like shaking. If it's like wobbling, then it's not good. And when you do that, you should have your lens ready. Now I haven't tried this lens yet because I repaired it just a few moments ago. I wanna try the super wide angle lens after like two months. Now let's slap on this lens and see if it works. And hell yeah, it works just like before. Now you can see it really works, so I'm not making full out of myself, but oh man, you can see, you can see too much. That's not good, I'm not comfortable with that. You still can see the big box I moved from there because I didn't want to show it. But now you can see I didn't fool you, it really works, I fixed the lens for you. So please leave a like if you like this video, subscribe if you haven't already. I'm not Peter McKinnon, but I feel like I am. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!